Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to make everyone's favorite garnish for barbecue, pickled red onions. Stick around. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. If you're new here, my name is Todd. And if you wouldn't mind, be sure to hit that red subscribe button, tap that bell so you don't miss a thing. All right, tonight we're gonna to take a little bit of a break from barbecuing meat and pork and uh, all those kinds of things. And we're gonna show you a very tasty little side dish or garnish to every barbecue plate uh, should have. Um, it's, they're delicious, adds a pop of color to your uh, presentation, and it's really easy to make. So what we're gonna show you is pickled red onions. So one thing I notice from some of our barbecue travels is just about any barbecue joint you go to, they have pickled red onions, uh, usually on the side, a little dish, a little cup, and they're really tasty. And they usually accompany some pickles uh, and, and other kinds of hors d'oeuvre. So what I notice is they're very delicious. They're nice and tangy because they got that vinegar taste to them. They're pickled and uh, it kind of cleanses your palate so you can go from ribs back to your brisket in between you can eat a little bit of those pickled red onions and it kind of cleanses that palate so it, it definitely has a purpose uh, at least at least for me that's how i've treated them and they're really delicious and fun and easy to make so let's get started so some of the ingredients you're going to want uh, again this is my recipe and you could change it up any way you feel like but one of the most important things you're going to need for the pickling is obviously vinegar. So what we've got here is some apple cider vinegar. Um, you could substitute for red wine vinegar. Um, some people do. And you can even just use regular uh, vinegar if you want. And that's okay too. But I recommend the apple cider vinegar um, for the best taste. And then of course uh, you're going to need a measuring cup. And we're going to want to go 50-50 on the water apple cider mix. So in this case, I'm going to go three quarters of a cup of water and three quarters of a cup apple cider vinegar. We're a total of about a one and a half cups. Okay. Now, you're going to want to get a um, deep saucepan, small, and uh, and bring that water, apple cider, vinegar mix up to a nice hot temperature, okay? Now while that's coming up to a, uh, to a to temperature, we get our rest of our ingredients ready. So what we got here is a tablespoon of sugar, white sugar, a tablespoon of salt. Again, you can adjust the ratios here to your liking. Then we have a teaspoon of whole kernel allspice, a teaspoon of black peppercorn, a bay leaf, I'll go ahead and throw that in there right now, and a garlic clove. Again, you can add or subtract garlic cloves to your liking. Um, and I'm gonna kick it up a notch and get a couple of these whole red peppers here and I'm just going to throw them in there of course a shot of your most tasty beverage thanks babe You're welcome, honey. and of course a nice medium sized red onion and I'm going to be putting this in a mason jar you can get these at any big box store Walmart wherever I'm using a, uh, I don't know what size, this looks like a two cup size here. Um, so with the, uh, with the onion and three quarter or one and three quarters cup of uh, pickling juice, I should fill that up nicely. So set that aside. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all my ingredients into that solution. It's coming up to a boil right next to me. There we go. And crack the nice big uh, garlic clove. I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to put that in at the end. Then what you want to do next is take your onion and chop it up. 
Again, get yourself a nice red onion. Um, be picky when it comes to these because you're going to want to... Make sure it's not bruised. Yeah, you want to make sure that it's not bruised. Okay. So as you can see, that's a nice looking uh, red onion. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is cut down the middle. I'm going to set this to the side. And uh, you want to go maybe half of a pencil thickness. That's the size I like. The thicker the pieces of the onion that you cut, the more time it's going to take pickling. So this is, uh, you know, the thinner, obviously the quicker. I like mine a little bit more on the thick side. So this is what you're going to end up with. Nice uh, long pieces, kind of half moon shape. That's what you want. Okay. Again, this is kind of uh, my recipe here, but you do it however you want. You want to pull them apart, kind of untangle them a little bit. Okay, as your pickling solution comes up to temperature, turn it down a little bit. You don't want it to all boil away before you get a chance to pour it in there. All right, after you're done crying and wiping your tears from all the onions, be sure to uh, check the status of your uh, fluid here. Don't let it boil over. That would be a bad thing. Get your mason jar out, your pickling jar, whatever, and just start sh shoving them in there. There you go. See, that's pretty good. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a couple of these garlic cloves in here and I'm gonna pour in the pickling juice so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna transfer this over to my Pyrex it's a little bit easier to pour in I'm gonna try to make sure I get plenty of them peppercorn and allspice go. Okay, these peppers, I'm just going to get down in there. Okay, so I'm just going to strain the rest of this out to get to my ingredients. Okay. All those ingredients in there. Alright, probably a better way of doing this. Get that uh, bay leaf down there and get that allspice going. Get my garlic. Close it up. All right. Okay, so yeah, things get a little sloppy around here. So I'll give it a nice twist, then turn it upside down, check for any leaks. If you don't get any leaks, then uh, there you go. There's your, uh, there's the jar that's gonna sit for one to two days in your fridge. Now you can let this sit out if you want. Um, come up to uh, room temperature before you put it in your fridge or you can put it in the fridge just like this. Really doesn't matter. But you can kind of see how they're packed in there. We've got all those peppers and, and a couple chili in there. Now that's gonna set the pickle in that jar for a couple nights and we're gonna have some beautiful Pickled red onions. Alright guys, so I made some the other day for a party that we had. And uh, I want to show those to you. So these have been in the fridge now going on about five days. And uh, they'll keep for a week, week and a half. You see some of that garlic that we got on there. That's okay. I want to show you these, uh, these beautiful pickled red onions. All right, there we go. The 
get that. All right. All right, again, guys, these things are just so delicious. Oh, Sassy Kitchen Queen's gonna have one. I never tasted them when you had them out. Mmm, these would be yummy in a salad. They're really tangy. Mmm. They probably got a lot of other uses. Mm hmm. Oh. Just don't eat the peppercorns. So these are just so tangy. They're delicious. I never tried them at the party. Well, we got plenty of leftovers. Mmm, those will be delicious in a salad. Mmm. Alright, guys. Ooh, with my avocados. Hope you like this tutorial. Again, this is a this is really easy to make. As you can see, it doesn't take any time at all. Just get yourself a jar, a lid, some vinegar, and red onion, and your favorite aromatic spices, and go for it. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, please subscribe, tap that bell so you don't miss a thing, and we'll see you on the next one.